we are doing once we remove these rubber bands, or I don't know, we might leave them on and they'll just grow into it. So, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to create a forest blend. That way it looks completely natural. very very messy so just be mindful of that <laughs> and the fact that we have water I mean if, if we didn't have water in here then you know we could just vacuum out everything but since we do so this spot is actually gonna get two different plants um, this will start vining out which will be amazing. It'll be cool that it'll climb across the background. But something else we're adding in is the polka dot splash, which this one I'm gonna have to crown. I want this to have I want this to have two different colors coming out of here so I want the pink I want uh, the green and this is gonna be really pretty when it starts mixing up But you can see we have some star polyp moss here. We're going to spruce it up. But you see we have some dead here. So I'm just going to trim it back. this back too. There we go. It's going to take a little bit for this to bounce back. It's going to need the light. Obviously, we just completely cleaned off its roots, so there is number two. It's a mixture. I've thought about this. 
give it a little bit of color, but I've also thought about planting these over here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna plant those. All right, guys, we're doing the middle next. Uh, we're doing the uh, the croton, which is this one right here, very colorful. So once again, oh, I'm breaking leaves. But my thing is, is I can just put them in, the leaves in with my isopod, thin hair, and it'll be just fine. So, like I said before, you want to clean the ruts. I broke that one, so we're just going to take that one off. And then I'm going to take these pieces of moss. And I'm going to wrap them around the roots to keep that humidity in there. down there and guys nothing is perfect when you're doing this I am literally just plugging and playing as I go along and there it is and a couple of different plants a good roll thumb just kind of set them in there I'm trying to hide the mister, and obviously we'll build up substrate around this, whatever we decide. I don't want it to be too much coverage, so yeah, I think I'm gonna... So I'm gonna move this moss out of the way. I'm gonna take this fern over here, and I'm gonna clean out the roots on it. God, this one's dry too. So you can see I cleaned out the ruts. I have that little vine there. But I think I'm going to set that back in the corner there. And then we'll take some soil. Okay. So then we're going to take the moss, and I'm actually taking the moss down lower because so we're going to hide the egg crate. On the side because once this egg crate or once this moss starts growing in it's going to attach to the side of the egg crate and sturdy it up that's also why we're going to let this tank mature for a couple of months before any animal goes in so that the plants can grow in nice and thick i haven't decided because I, I don't want to block, but I, I want it to look natural. I don't want to block these plants out. I 
I mean, I, I could do it right out here. So I think we're gonna do. I don't know. I think we're gonna. Uh, I don't like that. Oh, I guess it helps if you guys can see and the camera went away. Helps if you guys can see what I'm doing. And so I'm digging all the way down into the lava rock. We're going to add in some more dirt. about some of the dirt getting done in the water. That's what we have filter socks for. So I have a piece of untreated ghostwood right here. Once again, I think I'm gonna move this moss out of the way. That way. I can structure it like this. that look uh, it makes it feel more natural I'm actually gonna put in um, actually one of my favorite plants uh, this is called creeping ficus and this will actually grow out and it will uh, cover the entire land. So it's gonna look really, really pretty. Alright, so I'm gonna start pulling up pieces of moss. I'm gonna hang them over the edge. Again, this is to hide the egg crate. You notice I got some of them actually down in the water. comes in a big, big sheet, so it just takes a little bit of time to piece it up. So, and we're gonna tuck some around the creeping ficus. This is star polyp moss. Don't want to kill.
you can see how I just hung it over the edge. So, we have front cover, sorry, my camera's having a mind of its own. So, this is the last little bit that I have of this. And this will grow in. other moss to finish up the background back here. Uh, the next type of moss we're using is actually sheet moss. So I just want that foreground covered. It's going to stand out a little bit. Uh, you need to make sure to soak this very very well. which if you have a triple like I do, it's not hard to do. Set the bag down so I can tuck this underneath the plant. So, hold on, let me pick up the camera so you can see it. So, as you can see, we have the sheet moss back here. I have the star pulp moss up here. Um, we did it so that we can cover up the egg crate all the way around. Uh, we made sure to protect the creeping ficus and the ivy uh, and the different and the bamboo. You can see that the drip wall is work working very nicely. And uh, once we're completely done, then uh, I'll uh, show you guys in depth on absolutely everything. But next, we are going to draw our attention over to the waterfall um, because there's a couple of things that I want to do to hide some of the plumbing and uh, add in some liveliness to the area here. Next up, guys, we're going to start doing, as you can see, I put a java fern. It's not it's still in its pot um, but we want this to grow in over here uh, up here we can still see the waterfall so next up i have all these cultures of java moss that we're going to incorporate around the waterfall uh, let's bring my bucket over here so I am not zoomed way in. So, as you can see, we have the Java fern there. I put Java moss around it. Um, put Java moss around the edges of the plants, at the base, uh, up along the rock ball. I'm trying to simulate a natural waterfall. So, tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. I might print it up a little bit, but 
Yeah. It looks absolutely amazing. So, we'll go through, do an in-depth. And this is right here, the reason we have nothing right there, that's gonna be a basking spot for whatever animal goes in here, if it's the mangrove. See, you can't see any part of the landmass, all the moss, the java fern, the drip wall there, you can see it dripping. Uh, the ghost wood, I wanted to make it look like a fallen piece of ghost wood. The cork, uh, this is actually a hide. Now, one of the issues that I did notice is that it blacked out, but we did know that this was gonna happen. So, there'll be plants in here and all that. But we are gonna do something, that uh, a product, use a product right now that I've never used before. And no time like the present. Now, you can see, this is natural. Anytime you put in a new plant. But, we're gonna use a product I've never used before and we will see how it goes. So, let's get into that. Tell us, guys, if you like builds like this, please consider subscribing. I apologize that this video is so, so long, but trust me, it was much, much longer. But um, we still have a couple of things, so make sure you stay till the end. Um, we are going to fix all this, which is gonna be fun. Um, we have isopods already in here, as you guys saw, and then there's springtails in here as well that were in the same culture. Anytime you have isopod uh, cultures, make sure to put springtails just to help reduce uh, mold on that aspect. So, with that being said, let's, yeah, let's get into it. But, oh, yeah, uh, so we still have to fix the rock down here. Um, we are going to treat with a new chemical we've never used before brought to us by our very good friends at Fritz and then uh, we have to put live plants in and this tank is going to go through a cycle but you guys will be able to see this uh, once it clears up and but and then we still have to uh, put the misting system completely hooked up and a couple more things so. All right, so the product that was provided to us by our good friend over at Fritz is nothing other than Fritz Turbo Start. Now this is the fresh water, stupid, nah. Um, this is the fresh water 700. This is a concentrated, you don't want to dump, even on a tank this size, you don't want to dump this in there. Yeah, you'll nuke your tank. But, um, and it says even there, concentrated live um, bacteria. You do have to keep this refrigerated uh, even before it's opened. And if you order this from Fritz, they'll actually send it in a, uh, a chilled box or a box with ice. Um, now on here, it says that uh, when you use it, uh, the chlorine and chloramines are lethal to turbo. Uh, lethal to turbo start bacteria and must be completely removed with a water conditioner before uh, addition. So, what that means is that if you use tap water, you need to use prime to kill the chlorine and the chloramines to your water. Now, this is straight RO, so we don't have to worry about any of that. Next up, turn off UV sterilizers before use and for five days after each introduction of turbo start 700. Shake bottle, okay, yeah, I've actually been doing this a lot. Shake bottle, um, add one ounce of turbo start per 50 gallons. This is about 150 gallons between the upper portion and the sump. Um, acclimate and add livestock within 24 hours. Use up to six recommended dosages. Or a fishless psycho turbo start can be used with ammonia chloride like Fritz fishless fuel. For expert advice on Fritz, obviously contact Fritz. So, with that being said, we have this little cup here. Uh, this is two ounces, and so um, we're not adding fish today. We actually won't even have fish. 
for a while just because we don't have the fish we want. So all I'm gonna do, ooh, that looks yummy. Looks like medicine. Ooh. So I'm gonna add this in. It's gonna get circulated around and then, so that treated 100 gallons. Fill this up half again. There we go. And this is a test trial for me too. Uh, I'm kind of skeptical of uh, a product that tells me that you can add fish after 24 hours. I know you can quick start or quick cycle a tank um, with sponge filters, and I guess maybe this is doing that. Um, but I actually talked to Fritz, uh, Eve, uh, she's one of the coordinators there, she's awesome. And she kind of talked me into doing this, so we are using this tank as a guinea pig. I've never used this product before. I'm actually gonna test the water on this after 24 hours and see what it turns out to be. All right, so with the pillars, the pillars kind of frustrated me because there's a couple of things that we tried uh, and it's I don't know if it's just the rock wasn't working or the paint that was on the rock wasn't allowing to adhere but we tried this mortar mix that's supposed to be for underwater and the second it goes in the water it dissolves so I I don't know I, I'm not saying that this is a bad product I'm saying that it didn't work for our situation so we made some changes. So we actually had some moss that actually came in with our plant order. And so we, what we did was we actually took uh, some underwater super glue and we actually, and you can see a little bit of it uh, on the tank or well, uh, around the moss, but that'll grow in. But we just wrapped the pillars with moss and then it'll grow out and uh, do its thing. So I, I'm very pleased with that situation. You can see it's still a little murky. Um, we're actually going to test the water. Uh, when we put the Fritz uh, Turbo Start in, it's been uh, what's it been? It's been it's been a couple of days since, since it's been in. So we're actually going to test it and see how it comes out. Um, we actually got the misting system all set up and in its place uh, everything's running but I'll run through um, up top let's see if I can look around we actually just have the the tubing run around for the misting heads which is very straightforward and then um, we have the bucket now this is a Miss King starter um, I actually had multiple different uh, open boxes with different stuff and so we just kind of plugged and played um, but we have the the line here that runs into the feed bucket and then we have the pump right here and then the controller which is right here and it's not on right now for some reason so I will have to look. I mean, oh, there's power to it. So I wonder if it got unplugged, but yeah. It's not fully operational right now. We still have to put the socks in to the sump and get that going. But yeah, the misting system is very easy to uh, attach and put in, but uh, I think we're gonna do, so this tank is gonna sit and be established for a couple of months uh, we're gonna let all the moss and the plants and everything and yes uh, misting systems are kind of expensive but they're worth it because with how new all this is with all the new live moss that plants um, everything it just makes it so much easier when we can set it for multiple times and it does its thing